Beep. 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 No. 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 Hello, class. I am Ted the Bear. I will be your teacher this year. Yeah, we know who you are. The school district somehow keeps hiring a bear to teach a bunch of human students. You've been my teacher for like the past three years. Our school has been on a low budget. For the past three years? They can only hire one teacher. So they hire a bear? Shouldn't the school district spend their money hiring a teacher who actually needs a place to live? You live in the woods. Living in the woods is nothing to be ashamed about. Ted, the only other person I know who lives in the woods is this kid named LaMonica who smells like tuna fish. And every time I hear him talk, I think of this sound that happens in a horror movie whenever somebody's about to die. Are you done, Blake? I'm not, actually. So, alright, so this kid LaMonica. Alright, sorry. I should not have called him a kid. He's more of like a squirrel with rabies dash cat. But I don't really know what it is. Too bad, we're moving on to our lesson. It's the first day of school. There aren't supposed to be lessons. Teachers are just supposed to wear suits, say we're to court, but telling us about all the rules that end up becoming more like communist laws towards the ending of the year. Too bad, we're starting. Fine, but then you're not invited. It's my birthday this year. Good. I never wanted to go to your birthday party. Wow, I see how it is now. Just do the lesson. <laughs> and that's why the How I Met Your Mother finale was better than you think. Psst, Frank! Psst, Frank! Ted the Bear, would you stop teaching for like five seconds so I could get Frank's attention? Thank you. Wait, what's going on now? Frank! For rank! What do you want, Blake? I'm trying to pay attention during class! Stop yelling at me, Frank! I don't like that very much! Dear God, what do you want? Frank, can you pass this note to Nancy? If it'll make you stop, fine. Give me the note. Thank you, Frank, for your act of kindness. Blake, are we passing notes during class? Well, Theodore, first of all, you saw me say to Frankie Boy over here to pass this note down to Nancy, so I'm gonna let you do the math. And second of all, no, we're not passing down notes. I am passing down notes. I'm copying my thing, Ted the Bear. Well, if you have something so important to say, then why don't you say it in front of the whole entire class? Why, Teddy Bear? I'm just so flattered you care so much for what I have to say. <coughs> <coughs> This note, this note here that I am holding, says that Ted the Bear is the greatest bear, nay, person I have ever met. He may live in the woods, and he may be named Theodore, but this person is a hero to our classroom environment, and we are all lucky to have him as our teacher. Is that really what it says? Well... The note does actually say Ted the Bear in it. Blake, give me the note. Fine, Simon. That's not even close to my name. <gasps> this note actually says that Ted the Bear is the biggest hippie I've ever met. I haven't learned anything in this class the past three years because Theodore Roosevelt the Bear never teaches us nothing except go to collage. I'm just going to assume you were trying to spell college because if we don't, this is what will happen to you. P.S. Is it true that Frederick left you for another person? Ha ha All right, I'm just gonna stop reading that now. Blake, this note is completely unacceptable during the school day. We're also not supposed to have phones out during the day, but I have mine with me. Blake, you're not supposed to have your phone out either! We're also not supposed to have a bear as a teacher, but this is your fourth year. Huh. I actually can't argue with that logic. But, Blake, may I please speak with you after class? No! If you don't, I'll sit with you and your friends at lunch tomorrow. Well, joke's on you. I don't have any friends. Even better, it'll just be us tomorrow at lunch where everybody can see. That's great, but it still won't make up for the lost time we could have spent together, but we can't since you're not coming to my birthday party. Fine, I will sit with you at lunch tomorrow, and I will come to your birthday party if you let me talk to you after class. Fine, 
then I guess I'll talk to you after class then. I'll see you after class. Ring ring. So that is the end of class today. Blake, would you please come to my desk? Yes, Theodore. Look, Blake, I'm gonna have to ask you to be a better participant in class tomorrow. Perhaps. But it'll cost you. Blake, are you seriously asking me to give you money so you'll be a better participant in class tomorrow? Yes. Here's a 20. Thank you. And don't worry. Tomorrow I will be so quiet, I won't even answer you when you talk to me. Blake! No, that that's not what I want! And he's gone. Hey guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this week's new video. To see the previous skit we did, then watch The Biggest Question. And to see bloopers and behind the scenes, wait a few minutes. And to see last year's Back to School video, then watch Back to School again. AGAIN! Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this week's new video. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you guys next week for a brand new skit. Bye, guys. I love you guys. I really am a great teacher.